Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show. I am Eva Akers. I am your host. And today it's a very, very special episode because I am broadcasting on our new channel here on Instagram called Freak Code Apparel. So today's episode number 54, I will be discussing a topic how to turn your dreams into reality. As we know, as human beings, we have unusual power to create our dreams into reality. Otherwise, I would not be sitting here with you in front of virtual screens that actually you can see me at your house. I mean, this is just amazing. So this show, no excuses, what is the show all about? Are you looking to discover a better discipline, energy, in your everyday life so you can stop making the excuses and take bold actions in areas like mind, body, business, and relationships. This show is for everyone, for those of you who are a badass or those of you who wants to become a badass in real life, but you need to take charge. I see some of you are logging in. Thank you so much, so much guys, for logging in and becoming a part of the show today. Because we need to have that no excuses mindset in order, in order for us to succeed. That's the bottom line. But a lot of us don't even think about it. So let's dive in to today's topic. And please share with me your thoughts, your ideas. Because again, how to turn your dreams into reality. And with the actual apparel that I'm wearing, this is actual free code apparel that I have right now on me. So check at the free code apparel. I will stand up and show you guys. I have the matching leggings. I have the matching bra. I have the matching top. Everything is free code apparel. And I will be discussing with you exactly how the apparel, how we created the apparel and why I want, I would like you to, to become a, a, a brand with us. Why would why are we different? Why would I suggest you to wear actually a freak code apparel? Because everything with us, with the freak family, has its roots and has has the origin of something, right? So I want to share this with you. But before we're gonna go ahead, I wanted to ask you: what is your burning desire? What keeps you up at night that or what, what is what is that in you that you wake up in the middle of the night or you have that thing like you want to create something or you want to become something else or you want to do something in your life that keeps you up at night? What is it? What is that one question that keeps on popping in your head? It's like, okay, I need to do something. This is This is my life. I need to change something. What's your biggest dream? Because now think about it. In today's life, Life is, for many people, when I coach a lot of people, life can be very overwhelming. And overall, when I coach coach clients, we all have tendency to become overwhelmed because life is busy. I mean, think about it. Everything is just with the speed that it's going on. But there is a way that you can actually control the factor of being overwhelmed. And what it is for us, it's scheduling. It's the habits. It's the disciplines that we learn and we apply in our life to help us change our habits. That's what it's all about, guys. So in this in this episode, I wanted to show you that it's all possible, that we can change our thinking and how we can do this by taking reflections daily. I'm going to just mention this to you about the habits, the rituals that I do in the morning. Like when I get up, when I do meditation, when I journal, when I concentrate on my three to five things daily that are the most important things. And obviously I am an entrepreneur. I am an empire builder. We have a couple of businesses. It might be a little bit different for you. But even if you do not have your own company, you can still do this because this is a general idea of all of us should be taking reflections in the end of the day, in the beginning of the day, looking at our victories. Why we do that? To propel you for the next step. Not only that, to become aware of how the day went. What can you improve in a day? And what is that that you're looking for in life? Because so many people, because they're overwhelmed, maybe unhappy in their job, maybe just unsatisfied, go through life 
without realizing that the life is just passing by and they de- haven't even accomplished anything. But in the meantime, maybe they're sitting on a gold mine or maybe they're sitting on something that would make them happy or happier in life. So that's my whole goal is for you to inspire you uh, and show you that anything can be achieved. You know, I am a girl. The freak calls me the Russian. I am not Russian. I am Polish. I was born in Poland. And I came here when I was 20 years old. And this actual uh, whole idea of creating dreams into a reality leads into this whole situation. Because when I was a young girl, I always had that dream to come to America. Nobody really implemented that dream other than me watching the 90210 show. It's funny. I always talk about it. that The show put such an impact on me as a young kid because we didn't have much TV. There were only two programs on TV. We For many years, we had a black and white TV. And if you ever remember the small TVs that are like made out of wood, that was me. That was me at home. We had two channels. And out of nowhere, they start broadcasting one extra channel that I could like literally see. I remember at the beginning, we were watching in black and white. TV and I saw this show and it made such an impact on me because it showed me a piece of the world from somewhere else. It showed me something that I've never seen before. We didn't have internet, YouTube. That was not such a thing. I am 45 years old. So if you are close to my age, you know what I'm talking about. However, if you were raised in America, it was a little different than we were in Poland. You know, there was a communistic country when I grew up, so we didn't have much. And this whole idea of watching that show, it kind of clicked in me and opened up my eyes. So what I did, not knowing that I actually am creating a vision board, I put a map of America in my room and I created even an email saying sacramento at yahoo.com, which I don't use this email, but I created even an email to have it just so I was connected to the whole idea of going to America. I'm not going to be going in details, but years later, obviously I came. I'm here with you. I'm talking in English. And by by doing so, I actually... Hi, Keith. I see you guys looking in. I put the vision board on my wall, not knowing that this is a vision board. Today, after studying the personal development and learning from others that achieved so much. I mean, Napoleon Hill, such an amazing book. So we we have a lot of different influencers, even well-known Tony Robbins. Guys, everything, the whole knowledge is in books. And you guys know, I mean, project guys understand what I'm talking about, right? People that have been coaching with us, personal development, learning from, you see the books behind me, learning from those who already done it. And not knowing years ago, I did that. So this tells you something, that having some kind of a vision, it must happen in order for us to achieve the goals. Either it's journaling, it's either it's writing, it has to happen. Some thoughts, that's how the universe works. Putting your thoughts into paper, uh, speaking up and talking about your vision to others it's very important, but then it has to be, has to be with action, right? Because without action, nothing's going to happen. The, the, the representation freak code is a representation of an action. That's what it is. I'm writing a freak code clothing. It's for men, women, kids, and everybody. And I'm going to tell you guys about it, that this is a representation of a freak family. So, Stay tuned with me because I'm going to lead you to it and I'm going to explain to you what this whole freak code apparel is all about. But before we're going to go deeper, I want to show you that this this is important. The journaling, meditating, reviewing the day, uh, being self-aware, where are you going, what is the biggest dream is so crucial. Because without it, you can't put your foot on a gas pedal. And that's what it's all about. Like, okay, once you establish this, you can say, okay, this is what I'm going. This is what I'm doing. That's what I want to achieve. And then you can go forward. Because remember that, you know, men's, every man is the result of his thoughts from yesterday. So if your thoughts, if you continuously writing the same things, that's what I do in my journaling. I see them. And I've realized that this is the mission that I wanted to stick with. 
because the same thing is carried with me over and over. And I'm not saying that I had things that I didn't accomplish. Of course, all of us had. But if this mission is totally connected with you, if you want to achieve something, you can. You just need to ask yourself some deep questions. And if it's not you, you better hire a coach. You better have someone that will ask these deep questions to you and put you on a spot because that's what the coach should do like kind of ask you questions because a lot of people we don't even we are so overwhelmed with daily life that we don't even think about these deep questions of life itself and life keeps on going by and out of nowhere you you turn around and you just celebrated your 50th anniversary of your life here on this earth so we need to pay attention and maybe slow down at the end of the day and look what accomplishments you had what can you what questions should you ask at the end of the day and what can you do better and what is your purpose here on this earth period i see magdalena hello so uh, uh, guys it's um if you if you have dreams don't just talk about it write them down create them and go forward and that's really how the freak code apparel have been created. When I go back years, when we used to have the locations in uh, Peak Physique in, in New York, I started, I, I created a clothing line. Magdalena might remember when I had first just clothing line for the gym. And it was just kind of like hit or miss uh, kind of ideas, experiences. I just want to throw it out there and have the Peak Freaks wearing the, 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 the Peak Physique apparel. But about two years ago, I remember we were sitting on a couch in our gray room and the whole family kind of get, gathered together. And because we have those deep discussions, we ask these, these, these deep questions, we want to thrive as a family. That's when it happens, when we created the free code. We created the free code. And I remember like today, everybody were involved. We had so many ideas that I literally had to open up my Google Keep Notes and start typing what we have, write it down, do a screenshots, and write it there on that spot. That's when everything started. So involving people in your creation, absolutely. This is great because then it's like another brain, uh, right? Gives you an idea. But also it might come just from you, within you. But start writing, do something. Take, go to the next level. But you will never be able to go to the next level if you're not going to have a moment of slowing down and looking at it and saying, okay, this is what I want to do. So uh, it took us, it took me a few months to do this. Obviously, I had to research some stuff. I had to uh, take notes. I had to reach out to people that have done it before me. Trust me on this one. I reached out to people that's done it before me. Because I wanted to know, I wanted to have them in, to have their input. And they gave me some great ideas. So don't be afraid to ask people that already did that before you because they have a knowledge. So sometimes it's great. I mean, all the time is great to ask these questions, have the tips. So maybe you don't need to repeat the same mistakes, right? But then also... Each person is different. We're going to have a different experiences. We are in the different zone, time zone, area. So your experiences will be different than this person. Your ideas will be different, but that's what it's all about. So I actually started creating the designs of the Frick Code. And this is not how the collection looked like. I have folders on my, on my, uh, on, on my computer created a totally different line. But here, here was the thing. I created all these, all these clothing, all this clothing. I had to hire an assistant who was drawing my ideas, which was pretty difficult. But it was done. Now, the clothes were created and I came into another obstacles. Okay, in order for us to start and launch the, the program, you need to have a lot of capital. Some, we didn't even realize that this is such a massive massive movement to do so i had to start to research okay what are the next steps how can i go about it and around it to do it in a different way and i couldn't find anybody who would be making exactly the apparel the way how i wanted to you know so 
so eventually after asking questions, researching, I figured, you know what, there is a way, there is a way to do it. And that's how we started building the company itself. And so you, along, along the process of creating something, your, your vision that you had in the very beginning can change along the way. And that's what I want to tell you. Sometimes people think that they need to have everything in order, that they need to have absolutely everything to start. You don't. You are enough. You are enough as you are to start whatever you want to do. Obviously, there is some knowledge required. However, I did not have an apparel knowledge at all. So what do you do? You pull people that have a knowledge. You pull companies that have a knowledge and you use their systems and their tools. And that's what I did. So this actually apparel, it's not the original one when I created, but I created this one when I was playing with the system. And that's how the whole thing started. It was pretty funny how this whole thing started. And as the vision was growing, in the beginning, when we were sitting in the gray room, we were saying, okay, uh, the, the, we're going to have matching outfits like Frick and me. And we were thinking, okay, the, the kids will have matching outfits, but the vision, the idea didn't really hit me till when I was creating this clothes that I want the Freak Code. Freak Code is a representation of these amazing five words that yeah, I want you to be connected to. And what is that? There is a discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. That's what we call it. We call it the decaf. It's it's really re easy to remember. Decaf coffee, decaf. Uh, we talk about this a lot, decaf. What is decaf? That's what it is. It stands for discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. So when you wear the brand, when you wear the freak code apparel, it's all about representation of the code. That's the code. So think about it. Discipline. You want to be disciplined. You want to learn how we do it. You're going to wear the brand. Why discipline? Why discipline is so important? Because discipline keeps you organized. Discipline is where you need this. You need the most discipline in the hardest situations. That's usually because people think, oh, the easiest. No, the hardest. Because that's what keep you in track. When you travel, when you change things, that's the discipline. Discipline daily of your schedule, of your nutrition, of your workouts, the non-negotiable. That's how our family is. And that's why the connection for on the freak code, like think about it. Now, energy, right? We have decaf, discipline, energy. What do you need energy for? You need energy for everyday life, for Anything that you do in life, you need energy to create. You need energy to work out. You need energy for your family, for your friends. You need energy in life. And how you create energy? You are like the plant. You're going to create an energy. Every single human can have a good energy. But a lot of people forgot to tap into their natural energy source because they feed their bodies with horrible nutrition, horrible food. So we got to, again, slow down and think. What can I do today? What can you do today to become the to have the best nutrition ever to achieve the goals that you wanted to achieve years ago? Because year by year goes by, and people always say, "Yes, this year is gonna be the greatest year. I'm gonna achieve my my um, low body fat. I'm gonna lose the weight. I'm gonna feel amazing." And they don't do anything about it, or they start the year. Like always, everybody, excitement, joy, uh, something new, they want to lose weight, and what happens after? And slowly, the thing deteriorates, and they slowly forget about their dreams, what they wanted to do. It's March, and people already forgotten about their dreams, their goal for, goals for the year. This is just the beginning of the year. So what can you do today? to create the best energy by eating healthy, by eating right. And because we've been involved in the fitness industry, nutrition for the past 20 years, we've trained hundreds and thousands of people, created workout, created seminars. So this is attached to us. Everything is connected. And we thought that's what it is. We can teach people how to get their energy. 
And imagine with every single piece of the collection that you purchase, you're going to get a link to work out. So there is no excuses not to do it. It's never been done before. A free workout for an hour? That's amazing. So think about it. You're purchasing a clothing line and you get that email with your workout delivered to your mailbox. How awesome. That's your energy. Now, confidence. You need to act from a confidence standpoint. You have to. But how do you going to get the confidence? Obviously, there is a knowledge involved. There is a repetition involved. But not thinking this giant, huge picture. Just concentrating what you have in front of you. Just learning these little pieces daily. And repeat, re- repeating it on constant basis. Either it's... It's not about perfection, just repetition. But then at the end of the day, you are like, okay, how could I have done this better? What can I do to improve? How can I become more confident today? What is that that is stopping me from being confident me? Is it the nutrition? Is it the workouts? Is it the knowledge of certain things? Then hire a coach, have somebody to help you. That's confidence. We've been... We've been on the path of confidence for a long time. And look, if somebody would ask you, well, now you have the clothing line. Now you can, you, you've learned another piece. No, I'm still learning, guys. I am still at the beginning of this whole giant obstacle ahead of me because I am also prepared that there will be obstacles. That, there, that just creating something It's not everything. This is just one piece of the puzzle. Remember, a whole picture. When you when you when you take when you start doing puzzles, right? We have a we have like a hundred pieces puzzle. Each piece has to land exactly in this in the right spot. If it doesn't land in the right spot, you're not gonna get the full picture. And that's how it is with everything in life. You need to find these right pieces. That will put that you put in your in your puzzle that would create this awesome picture. So be patient. Don't be impatient. I know I get that sometimes because we want it now. We want it already, but everything takes time. Everything takes time. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's that work behind the scenes. It's that work when nobody is watching. That's important. So let's do this. All of you can be confident. And I guarantee you, even though people say, oh, you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be connecting the look to your confidence. I totally agree. But a lot of times we do that. But all of you have some knowledge of something specific. So why not to do this? So that's confidence. Confidence, showing up with confident me. So we have discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak code apparel. Hi, Michelle. Freak code apparel is representation of the action. We are action. We we take action. We are all about action takers. And that's when you're going to be wearing the freak code apparel. It's all about you. How are you going to take action? Now think about it. You buy a piece from Freak Code clothing apparel and you're getting an email with a workout. It cannot get any better than this. So there is no excuses not to do it. You just need to take action. We are action takers. So we want to encourage you. You wear the apparel, you work out, you take action, you do your workouts and you snap the picture, tag us in the post so we can add your picture to the feed. Why not? It's up to you. But action, guys, I when I coach and people tell me, they, they share the stories, people want to do something, people have the best ideas, but if there is no action, there will never be an actual result. There is nothing tangible then. You got to realize that. If you, if you do not take that time and cre- create and put the steps, there will be no tangible results. It's impossible. The same like with nutrition. The same with like you want to lose weight. You need to buy the good food. You need to take an action. You have to have an action plan, right? That's the same here. You're going to get the apparel. The apparel is workout apparel. Everything matches from I have a brown me. I This is a jersey stretched a little see-through. I have my leggings. 
I have my backpack. I have my laptop. I have my uh, uh, hairpiece. I have my band. Steve has the same uh, top and the bottom. Then there are bomber jackets. There are sweatshirts. Then the kids have the same. Everything matches. And why I did that? Because I feel that when you when you're gonna see your 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 loved ones right next to you wearing the same clothing, it's gonna be like inspiring, it's gonna be like invigorating, it's gonna be like enthusiastic, and it's gonna be fun, and all of you will stand out. You're gonna be representation of the freak code. That's what it is. And the last one is the freak. Freak. It's all about being your awesome, your own awesome freak self. And I've always been saying this, guys, for a long time right now. Every single one of us is different. I am from Poland. I speak with an accent. I make mistakes. It's me. That's me. Steve and the family always makes jokes. Like, what did mommy say? And you know what? And I have fun with this. And I don't, and I don't worry about it. It's just me. You're not going to be me. I'm not going to be you. Stop following and falling in love with others to the point that you want to become them. They understand, understand admiration. People are beautiful. We want to acknowledge someone. But have your own style. Be your own awesome freak self. Wear the hair different the way how you want it. Wear the makeup however you want it. Wear your clothes however you want it. Be you. And why you? Because then that's when you're tapping into your ultimate potential. Because when you're going to tap into that magic of you, that's when you're going to create magic. That's the whole idea. Because if you're trying to be someone else, you're going to be chasing. Like <laughs> I have a vision of that cartoon characters from the Disney when they chase one another and it's like a chaos and their hair and their fluffy ears just go like on the side. And the face goes like this. I'm sure you watched cartoons. And the feet go so fast. That's what it's like you looking, chasing someone. You're trying to be them. No, guys. There is only one you in this world. There's only one you that went through experiences like you. There's only one you that have the parents, that have the family, that have the connection, that have the interaction with people, that have the talents. And every single person is powerful enough to create something and be them. And the most important thing is like people sometimes say to me, oh, okay, but I don't want to be an entrepreneur. I don't want to do these things. And I say, totally fine. But what areas of your life are you not happy right now? Because I've met so many people and coaching clients that were so unhappy where they work. Because the family told them or they had to take family business or uh, take over family business or uh, the parents were just envisioned them to be doctors or surgeons and they just push them to do it what is that that you want because that's your happiness and if you're not doing what you like and what you love you can't be fully happy and why think about it work takes up like 80 percent of our time like that's you go to work for so many hours so you need to enjoy it you need to like the things that you do plus if you like what you do, you become creative. You want to put extra time in what you do. You want to be very voluntarily, you have volunteer approach to it. You are naturally spreading about things, right? You're talking to people. That's, that's when you're really loving what you do. And that's the whole goal, to be happy, to go to work and do things that you really enjoy. So guys, again, Tap into your ultimate freak code by wearing the freak code clothing. I hope that you enjoyed my session today. This was actually a first session here on the freak code apparel. Episode 54 on the no excuses. And what's the really no excuses moral out of this whole show? Is to take action, right? Is to take action and becoming your own freak self. To live the life with no excuses by becoming more disciplined, more action taker, more confident, and more freak you. That's what the whole goal is. 
So episode 54 today, guys. Again, you can click on the link, freak code that side, and check out our uh, apparel collection. The clothes are amazing. They're so lightweight. The stretchy leggings, everything matches. And I know, ladies, I know when you're watching me, you are like, yes, I love matching clothes. I love them too. I love matching clothes with Ivanka. I love matching clothes. I have matching clothes with Steve and Tyson because it's the whole family of four. It's him, it's her, and the two kids. And we were blessed that we have the boy and the girl. And now I can decide. I can design both. And plus, the kids can design their own stuff. So that's really fun because by them designing, then inspiring other young kids to do the same. And that's the whole goal. So the free code apparel, it's just more than free code apparel. It's an inspiration and way of life. They no ex with the no excuses mindset. And you're going to see the no excuses sign. You're going to see the free code. You're going to see the no excuses. You're going to see the logos in all different directions. And I'm going to stand up again and show it to you because this is not a normal apparel. It's a different apparel and different piece. It's, it, there are a hundred different pieces in there. You just need to search and check it out and see what you like. So with this said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Become, become a part of our brand. Wear the, free, wear the free coat apparel. And I will talk to you soon. I will talk to you next week. Check it out again. Instagram freak code apparel. And send us messages if you have any questions about the upcoming courses. Because we have courses on Nutrition 360 when I put my whole life ideas and learning into one course. So finally, you can get over the hump and bump and the losing in effect yo-yo. It's all in one course. We have a discipline course, a habits course. It's so much for you right now that there is absolutely no excuses. We cover the whole subject 360 from workouts to nutrition to habits to discipline. We are coaches of mind, body, and business. It's all in one. How awesome is that? Finally, you have a place to be. Finally, you have a community to attend. Finally, you can be a part of us. I will talk to you later. Have a no excuses day. Bye.